about the Iranian leader uh, who is speaking in Turkey right now, and uh, President Rouhani uh, now saying that the attack on Saudi Arabia's oil facility was a reciprocal measure, he says, by the Yemeni people to assaults on the country of Yemen. So uh, this is the uh, president of Iran, Rouhani, now suggesting that these attacks were carried out not by Iran, but by the Yemeni people. Uh, presumably he's referring to the Houthis uh, who control the capital there. He says the Yemeni people are exercising their legitimate right of defense. The attacks were a reciprocal response to aggression against Yemen for years. That's at a joint news conference uh, with Russian and Turkish counterparts just within the past couple of minutes. So a new wrinkle there as Iran has been blamed by some in the U.S. administration for conducting these attacks. The president hasn't necessarily embraced the idea that it was Iran behind this all along. Here's what Rick Perry, the energy secretary, said earlier today in placing the blame squarely in Iran's lap for the attacks. I want to reiterate that the United States wholeheartedly condemns Iran's attack on the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And we call on other nations to do the same. This behavior is unacceptable. It's unacceptable and they must be held responsible. So, Tyler, now we've got this unusual situation where you do have the Secretary of Energy and the Secretary of State out there blaming Iran directly, using language that the president is not using. If you look at his most recent tweet on this, he raises the question of Iran's involvement, but doesn't answer that question definitively. He says now they say they had nothing to do with the attack on Saudi Arabia. We'll see, question mark. So the president uh, laying out the possibility that Iran was behind this, but not necessarily going as far as the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Energy in blaming Iran for this. And just within the past couple of minutes, we now have the president of Iran saying that the attack was conducted by the Yemenis. Mike Pompeo has said uh, that there's no evidence that the attack came from Yemen. So we're going to hear from the president here in a couple of minutes' time. He's going to be presenting a Medal of Freedom. He will have the opportunity to talk to reporters in this hour and again in the next hour in the Oval Office. So we'll see whether he has uh, anything to say to sort of clar clarify some of this uh, communication gap we have with the cabinet secretary saying it was Iran and the president not willing to go there.